Today we're going to build our own Kano computer. It's going to run YouTube, it's going to hack Minecraft and it's going to play games. So we had a challenge with Ollie this morning because Kano sent us this computer kit touch which means that he can build a tablet computer from the raw materials in the box. You have everything in there that you need, you get it out, it's all colour coded and very bright but you have this storybook that takes you through how to put the computer together. So there you go, there's the main processor board, it just snaps into place. You pop that into the housing and as you work through the story, slowly you build your own tablet computer. All the cables have nice housing to keep them out of the way and are colour coded so you know which has to plug into which. Now Ollie had never done anything like this before but with a bit of concentration and a bit of trial and error he soon had the makings of his own tablet computer with a touch screen, with a keyboard, with input, with sound, with a microphone. So all the components come together, you pop the lid on and then you have to peel off the protection of the touch screen and it Whoa, comes to light. That's so cool. <laughs> it's working. Not just working, but it was a computer that Ollie had put together. So that's the brain, the drive board, um, the HDMI heals the yellow cable. The big red thing that one is the is the battery. That's the data, so that's taking it from the drive board and putting putting the data into the memory. That, so that the green is the USB and that's the microphone and this blue one is the sound I've also got the keyboard I've got this little thing here which does the date which is the Bluetooth and the best thing about it is the touchscreen there's song maker terminal curse pixel internet and stuff YouTube so as you can see, there's loads of different apps. YouTube's one that Ollie's using at the moment, and of course he's looking for PJ Masks. And that should bring up the official PJ Masks channel, and we can then watch PJ Masks cartoons on our Kano self-build computer. So he built a computer, and now he can watch PJ Masks on it, and tap full screen to see it fill the whole screen. Okay, I'm gonna do some coding. So the Kano computer also has Scratch, as you can see here. What I really like is that it teaches you how to code step by step so that you can get into it really easily. So Ollie's putting together a little trial program to see what he can achieve with it in a short space of time. He's got this aeroplane whizzing around the screen and he's controlling it with the algorithms there on the right just by dragging and dropping the different bits of code as you probably maybe have done at school. I broadcasted this. It, it re repeats 50 times, so it, mo so it moves 50 steps and repeats that 50 times. Broadcast a message that activates this, it turns 170 degrees, m moves 50 steps, and it and repeats and then broadcast the message, and that's keep constantly repeating that over and over uh. again. So as we leave Ollie to get on with his new touchscreen computer, what I really liked about it was that it not only is a device that he's using, but it's one that he's built. So he can understand how the different bits of input and output are working with the computer. So when he's doing things like making music, when he's doing things like hacking Minecraft with the built-in app that lets you do all sorts of things in Minecraft, he not only understands how to do it on the screen, but also understands what's happening in the computer behind the scenes. And this meant he had a real engagement with what he was doing and was keen to take it with him, as you'll see, out and about, whether he's in the sitting room playing Minecraft or out on the beach playing it when we were out for a weekend as a family. He took it with him and because it is battery powered, he could design and hack Minecraft on the beach as well as back home. But what I want to do now is to look a bit more detail at what goes into making up the computer and to see if you've been attention to how Ollie has made it. How many pieces do you think there are in our Kano computer? Now we just need to get Ollie off watching YouTube. Hey, he's watching us. That's our video. So let's flip it over and you can see inside. Here's all the work that Ollie put in making it. You can see all the different components, but I want to take this apart again and identify each and every bit. So we pop the back off, put that to one side. Now look at all these bits. Right, let's go through this one by one. So over here, you've got the input and output there. You've got the main processor. You've got the HDMI cords for the video. You've got sound output. We've got the battery over here and we've got the power button over here. And we have got a little charging cable, hold that up. You can plug in your mains power there to charge the battery or to run the computer off battery. And over here, if we pop this out, we have got a microphone. 
So that means that the, the, the computer can hear you. So let's start counting how many bits we've got. See if you can count them as we go. Right, how did you do? Did you spot them all? So let's rehearse this. Move these over to the side and I'm gonna go through them one by one. Put in the comments how many you think they are. So number one, we've got the main motherboard unit. Number two, we've got the battery, the red battery. Number three, we've got the on-off power. Number four, we've got the first red cable for the charging. Number five, we've got the power cable, so the second red cable. Number six, we've got the orange interface cable. Number seven, we've got the microphone. Number eight, we've got the HDMI cable. Number nine, we've got the USB ports with its green cable. Number, what's next? Oh yeah, number 10, we've got the speaker and its cables. And then just turn that around. Number 11, we have got the main motherboard. Oh, number 12, we've got the routing channels for the cable. And of course, number 13, we've got the keyboard. So 13 pieces come together to make our Kano computer. How did you do? Did you guess that there were that many? But as well as all those pieces, of course you have your instruction manual, but also these really nice Kano stickers with little faces, little symbols and lightning. But better than that, we've got some letters. So what I want to do is to customize the Kano tablet computer for Ollie. Now what should we do? I know we should write PJ masks on it. So when he comes in, he'll be really surprised. So let's start doing that. So of course we need to find a P to begin with, P. And then where's J? J, a yellow J, J. <laughs> then we need a capital M in red, P, J, M, and then an A. What color is our A? An orange A, then an uh, S, <laughs> a black S, and then a K. And then last of all, oh, we haven't got another little S. We'll have to use a big S. Yep, a big blue S, P, J, mask. I know, I want to put a smiley face on. So we've got a nice smiley heart eyes face. And there you go, that's our <laughs> PJ Masks tablet, all ready for Ollie when he gets home from school. We also want to have a closer look at the instruction book because this talks you through how to make it. And if we flick through this, you can see each of the steps we've gone through to make it. It's really simple, but what I love about this is as you go through it, you learn about all the different bits of the computer. There's the, the computer brain, there's the brain block, there's the fitting, have to be really snug you've got your memory card you're turning it on and off you've got the screen on the back and you place the brain in the screen you then plug on your routing for your cables you get the driver board and plug it in with the hdmi cable you get the video feed you plug the yellow cable into the brain and then you're on to the orange bits so you plug the orange from one board into the other and then onto the blue of the audio so you need the audio jack in and then it needs power and then it'll start making sound in the cable block and of course then you've got the green usb bit so the usb ports fit in really snugly and then what you need for a computer of course is power so you plug the power board in and it has a red power button make sure it fits down really tightly and then you plug that into the driver board and that means the computer knows when it's on then you have the charging cable for the power plug so that you can add more power and of course you've got the keyboard you plug the little Bluetooth peripheral into the USB so the keyboard can speak to the computer and then the little microphone fits onto the outside of the screen as well. And there, you've pretty much done it. So in a simple storyboard manner, you've learned how to build a computer and all the different parts of a computer. So I think that's pretty cool. That's our first look at the Kano tablet touch screen <laughs> can make your own computer. We had a lot of fun with it. Ollie really loved it. He enjoyed how it taught him to code. He loved the fact that it was a new way for him to watch PJ Masks on YouTube and also those other YouTube channels that he enjoys as well. And he liked the fact that he had built it himself and so he understood what each of the bits did. There's also some great games and some great ways to make music that come with the package. And all of it teaches you how to do it in a step-by-step -step manner so that even though Ollie didn't have a lot of experience with this kind of thing before, he was soon up and going. And as you can see, he had a really great time. But we'd like to know what you think of it. What will you do with your Kano computer? How will you customize it and how will you use it?